is a wonderful woman. And she was never really too into the, the whole idea of me having a band or being involved in the music scene at all. It all started back when I think I let you have racing stripes at age, what was that, seven? I shouldn't have done that. But then later in life, I think it was the bad news when I let you go to a show. That's what we call them, shows. We don't call them concerts or anything. It was at the dog kennel. And I didn't want you to go, and I should have known if it was at the dog kennel. I remember the first show that I ever went to, I was in 10th grade, and uh, my friend Jason asked me to go with him, and uh, it was at a dog pound where these bands played. And I remember asking her if I could go, and she said no, and then I, you know, was like, please, Mom, I really want to go. And so she, like, called Jason's mom, which was kind of embarrassing, and she called a couple other parents, you know, to see if it was okay. Jason's mom said it would be fine. <sighs> but I didn't believe her, so I called Tim O'Brien. I thought, this man will tell me the truth. And he said, well, Donna, you don't like that music. I don't like that music, but it's probably okay to let Adam go to that. After that, things kind of just snowballed, and I started the band, and we practiced in the basement, and she, you know, didn't really like that, and none of my family did, actually. And, um, we, uh, then after the band, we had the studio and stuff, and my parents, they were both, they were, they were, they were always really understanding. Now we have the problem of Slim Studios. I mean, the blessing. Where's the ham? Oh, here's the ham. Then I think, 11th grade, we started Slim Pickens. And I thought, well, you know, most kids do get through that stage of having a band. And he and Jason were janitors of Providence, and what was fun for them was talking about having a band. I don't think, I don't think my mom liked Jason very much. She, there was like, just something about him that I think just made her uncomfortable. Jason is really a really nice boy. I thought it couldn't be too bad. So Jason and Richard and Adam and Brian had a band, Slim Pickens. It lasted way longer than anyone, any one mother would really hope for. Especially if it's in the mother's basement. To, to let not only your own son have a band that plays in the basement loud at all hours of the night, but to let people come in who you don't even know into your house to record, you know, early Saturday mornings or, you know, late at night. Uh, they were pretty cool about that. So now it's time for college, and I think, well, we're done with it now because, you know, we have to go to Slippery Rock. Even though Jason went with Adam, I still thought it would be the end of the band. So what they did was Adam decided to start Slim Studios in my basement from college. They're no longer in my basement, but they still exist. I don't know if, if, if my family is really happy that we left the, the basement and moved to the church. I think they probably miss the noise a little bit. I remember how loud it was, and I'm so thankful that he moved out because a lot more peace. And I remember all the strange people that would be, uh, you know, you go downstairs to do laundry or something, and then there's strange people down there, and you'd have to walk around like a cat, you know? So you didn't have to disrupt the recording, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And all, oh yeah, all the people eating supper at our house that we never met before, but yeah. Although I live on the third floor, eight o'clock in the morning when bands would play is not a very pleasant, pleasant experience. Um, I'm sure Adam can vouch for the fact that there have been numerous times where I've gone down to the basement yelling and screaming because, quite frankly, I'm just not a morning person. So since the studio moved, I'm a lot happier. I think we all are, actually. <laughs> you laugh, but you know, I've lived through it since, well, we're talking about six years now of some type of musical endeavors. And we set up, we tear down, we've had hernia repair surgery, and colitis probably all connected to the music industry itself. It's nice when he records oh, the Red Letter Band and the Brady Girls, but... You know, we have had college 
bands come and camp out at the house, which wasn't too bad, even though one guy was married and brought his wife and they got their own little suite upstairs. But I guess all in all, it hasn't been that awful, terrible. I don't know, my parents have been really cool though, like my dad's helped me load up stuff whenever Jeremy's been away or Nathan couldn't help, he's come down to the warehouse and help me load equipment or let me borrow the van, you know, if I needed to take stuff somewhere, so. Well, the shops on the Ford Windstar, I think, were uh, overused uh, by uh, always carrying the equipment around. Mature but the irony in all of this is that <laughs> weeks leading up to the show, my dad kept saying, don't be promising these bands this money, you know, you don't have it to back it up. And, and Jeremy and I were just like, Dad, who wouldn't come to see this show? You know, don't even worry about it. I uh, didn't attend too many shows. In fact, I think I only ever went to one. And that was because that one show... I was charged a twelve hundred dollar admission fee. It's because I was the only one who attended, and I had to pay for all the bands who came. Eventually, we had to call Adam's dad, which came and bailed us out. We felt like little kids at that point, and then we spent all summer working to pay his dad back. So, but you know, and he did say that you know, if you if you if you get into trouble, you can call me. You know, and I just kind of blew it off. Dad, <laughs> can you put in your checkbook? <laughs> They have a little pop-up now that we're allowed to borrow from the beach if we want, but, you know, we'd have to pay rent on that. That's Someday funny. it'll all pay off, and he will say, you know, it's time to be done. I retire. I'll probably be dead by then.